This is part one of the Geode EM 3D training video series. The Geode EM 3D is a magnetotelluric geophysical instrument used for AMT, HSAMT, and CSAMT deep sounding measurements. Hello, uh, I'm Douglas Groom with Geometrics and welcome to the training seminar for the Geode EM 3D. Now, this seminar is going to consist of three videos. The first video, as you can see, is simply on a bench, a table here. And uh, this is to look at the components of the Geode EM system and how everything is connected together. And we will look at a little bit of the acquisition software. Obviously, we're not going to be able to do any real data acquisition, um, but we will look at how that's set up. Now, the heart of the GeoDM system is the receiver. And this receiver box is a six channel box. It has six electric channels and three magnetic channels. Now that makes nine. So in order to stay with the six channels, when a magnetic sensor is plugged in to the mag channel, one of the electric channel is disabled. So if we have two magnetic channels plugged in, we have four electric channels available. In order to power the system, we use a standard 12 volt battery. It can be a car battery or even smaller. And we have two power connectors here. This allows you to do a hot swap during acquisition if your battery gets low. So, the battery is now connected to the receiver. This receiver is connected to the laptop controller via an Ethernet connection. Now, this is a specially made ruggedized Ethernet cable. The Ethernet connectors are very high-end connectors designed to be used in the field. Uh, there are no pins or sockets, uh, so they're easily wiped clean and they're very rugged. And the Ethernet controller is this little box. And I will plug in the network interface into the Ethernet port on the controller. And we want to connect the Ethernet to the Ethernet controller. There are two Ethernet connections on the receiver box. Uh, either one can go to the network controller. If you have multiple boxes, and then the other one would be connected to a second box and to the receiver. The magnetotelurics technique, actually audio magnetotelurics for the GODM, makes measurements of both electric and magnetic fields. And in order to measure the electric fields, we need to create an electric dipole. And a dipole consists of two electric sensors, in this case, um, stainless steel stakes, and two dipole cables. Uh, you'll notice that there are 
different colors of the cables, and these are simply used to indicate the different lengths of the cables, uh, which makes operation uh, more straightforward in the field. So what I'm going to do is plug in the first dipole, and there is a negative and positive connection to the dipole. So the red connector is the positive. So that is going to be the positive side of this electric dipole. And then I will spread this cable out to the full extent of the cable, depending on the size of the dipole that you want. And pound this in the ground water it down, and connect it. And then the negative side of the dipole, I will connect to the black connector. We'll run this out, pound this into the ground, and Connected. Now I'm going to show you how we connect the magnetic sensors. And the magnetic sensors are induction loop coils. And these have a frequency response of from 0.1 hertz up to 20,000 hertz. And this is the mag coil cable. And what I'm going to do is plug this in. And plug it into the And we use two coils, so I'll put the other one in. You've already seen how that's done, so I'll do that very quickly. Okay, so we are now connected. We have the receiver out in the field. Our magnetic sensors are connected. Uh, we've only got one dipole connected. We are actually will connect four dipoles. You'll see that when we actually get into the field. And we have all of the ethernet connection. And now we want to power up the box. And we power up the box, which is out in the field, simply by pushing this to the enable power up. You will see two flashing lights on the box. One indicates power. The other indicates that the ethernet connection is working. What I'm going to do now is look at one of the ways that the system can be set up in the field. And in this configuration, we're going to be doing two simultaneous soundings. 
and each sounding is going to have a electric dipole along the line of the survey and an electric dipole perpendicular to the line of the survey. And along the line of the survey, we are going to call the x direction. And perpendicular to the line of the survey, we are going to call the y direction. So these are the electric channel connectors. This for channel 1. And that is for channel two. And in this configuration, we are going to use channel one and channel two as our two Y direction dipoles. So I am going to make a connection here and a connection here. And this will be our Y dipole. Now, this, these can be 50 meters apart. And the same thing, I am going to make a Y connection positive in that direction and a Y negative in this direction. So I'm just going to call this E, Y, 1, positive, E, Y, 1, negative, and this will be E, Y, 2, positive, and E, Y, 2, negative. So we've got our two electric dipoles set up for the y direction and now we want to set them up for the x direction. So what I'm going to do, this will be my first call this E X because X is on the direction of the survey and so this is E X positive and we'll just call this E X one negative the X one now we want another electrode and this is going to be E X two negative. So my first X dipole goes from that stake to that stake and this connector is common to both of these dipoles so my second one goes from this stake to this stake so right now we have ey1 here this might be 50 meters and we've got E X one here and that might also be 50 meters. We have E Y two here, maybe 50 meters, and the same thing. E X two, uh, perhaps 50 meters as well. So this is one of the ways to set it up, and I will show you the various configurations when we're looking at the acquisition software. 
But this is a little bit confusing right now. But just, just think that we're setting up four electric dipoles. Two Y direction, bang, 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 and two X direction, one, and two. And that is the setup of the, the electrodes. Now on the, now that is the setup of the electrodes. And we are setting up the two magnetic sensors as well. And those are coming from the back. We won't show that. But basically, we're going to have And we'll just call this magnetic Y and magnetic X. All right, so we've looked at the setup of a particular configuration of the electric and magnetic sensors and how they would be set up in the field. And now we're going to do the acquisition software.